uh, I recently made a move to the Wago KT electric skateboard from Wago. Um, first impressions and legit impressions. Um, I think it's a good quality board for a first timer. Um, I, I especially like the price. I mean, I paid 380 bucks for this. Uh, that included tax, which they say you don't pay, and uh, also includes shipping, which they're saying you don't pay, but I don't believe that. I think the shipping is included with the purchase of the board. So you're basically paying for a $280 board, basically. Um, I would say it's good quality. I mean, it's, uh, look, when I first took this thing out of the box, it, and I lifted it, I said, oh my God, this thing weighs a ton. I mean, it's heavy. This is no joke. And when I first saw these rear wheels, you know, these things look small on other YouTube videos, but these are gigantic. These are very huge. And I do like the handle. The handle is nice. Um, I do like the width of the board. The stance alone is terrific. I mean, this is my shoe, size 12, as you can see. That's pretty wide. You know, that's a pretty wide stance that you get. So normally I'm putting a foot here and I'm putting a foot there. So I would say, yeah, overall, I mean, as far as stability on this thing, you're going to get that. Don't use the motors and just ride it like a regular skateboard using your foot just to familiarize yourself with the board and the weight and the maneuverability. And then when you feel comfortable, another recommendation I have is that you take it to a soccer field slash AstroTurf. And the reason why I like AstroTurf is obviously uh, it's... It's a softer landing. I mean, if you were to fall while doing something on this board and you fell on concrete, you're going to feel it. talk about dealing with a foreign company what you're going to be dealing with well I needed some technical support with Walgo and I called some technicians and uh, their English could be better you know I mean it's not like the dialogue that I had with the technician overseas really understood what I was saying so that is something to consider when you're dealing with a foreign country is language barrier um, they recently put on a YouTube co slash commercial. It, it showed them replacing some wheels in the back on a different model skateboard. And then they had this girl, you know, Chinese. I, I guess she works for the company herself. Her English was impeccable. Very clear. The, the cover, the tires, and the, the monitor. Oh, and uh, that way you can save a lot of money by just replacing the tires. Instead of the motors entirely, because that's going to be very expensive. And this uh, new charger, we upgraded the charging port to a better structure, and it will be stronger than the original one. And uh, the structure is very special. Uh, I don't even understand what this guy is saying. Product. They should have the girl talk instead and of we him. Also upgraded the charger. We added, uh, used her for the spokes model for the for the uh, skateboard, but they didn't. They tried to talk, and as you can see from the video, you could barely understand what they're talking about. That, to me, could use improvement. I hope you're watching, Wago. I'm not trying to bash you, but I think you should change it up a little bit and uh, get some English-speaking people on there. Um, it looks better. percent so let's get some juice in this bad boy. Same charger as the Wago, guys. They're sourcing the same materials, as you can see. Number two, charge your battery to 100% every time. So you always want to be careful. Green same battery. 100%. Okay, so I want to tell you that Miles Electric Skateboard seems to be sourcing the same charger as Walgo, which makes you scratch your head. Perhaps all these companies are sourcing out the same materials. Something to think about whenever you purchase an electric skateboard. 